What is autophagy and how does it help us slow down the aging process? Well, Dr. Frank Lippman is the author of six New York Times bestselling books on longevity and is the chief medical officer of The Well, a cutting edge holistic wellness center. He knows all about autophagy. So Dr. Lippman, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on. All right, so set us straight. What is autophagy? Autophagy is just your body's cellular garbage disposal and recycling system. It's a way of getting rid of damaged cells and creating new cells. It's an amazing system we have in our body. It's basically a cellular fountain of youth. Dr. Lippman, how does autophagy help protect your body from disease? An example is inflammation. When you get injured or you have a pathogen, you need to create an inflammatory response to react to, to that pathogen. Um, but then you need to get rid of it. Otherwise, you get chronic inflammation. It helps protect mitochondrial function, which are the energy powerhouses in the cell. It boosts brain health by getting rid of those misshapen proteins that can predispose you to Alzheimer's. It protects you, you know, protects your heart. It, it boosts your immune system. Um, it's anti-aging. It's just a wonderful system that our body has, um, and it's working all the time. The problem is, as we get older, its function decreases. So now that we know what it does, you say there are ways we can boost it. And the first way you suggest is through intermittent fasting. Tell us about that, Doc. There's this concept called hormesis, which is basically what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So the idea that chronic stress is bad for you, but acute, small, short stresses can be good for you. So when you fast, it's a little bit of a stress on the body. And that little bit of stress, that hormetic effect, actually triggers autophagy. So a, a lot of the, the, the um, lifestyle um, factors that trigger autophagy work via this hormetic system. So it's fasting is one of them, um, exercise or high intensity interval training, acute stresses, another way of doing it, um, decreasing carbohydrates or even protein cycling cutting back on protein, let's say you do 20 grams of protein for a few days a week, all of that is going to trigger autophagy because it's that acute stress on the body which is going to trigger that process. I guess similar to how homeopathic medications work, right? Exactly. It's, a, it's the same concept. Um, too much of something is toxic for you, but a little, a little bit of it is actually good for you. Yes, that's quite true. I've never thought of it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to keep up with you, Doc. It's <laughs> a great point, Dr. O. And, and Dr. Lippman, let's circle back. You mentioned carbs, right, which is a big thing for a lot of us here. You say that a low-carb diet can also help our body function more efficiently. How does that work? Well, you know, too many carbs, you know, especially as we get older, our capacity to metabolize carbohydrates decreases. So too many carbohydrates will then cause oxidative stress in these cells, which will affect mitochondrial function. It's also going to cause metabolic issues, especially if you're not metabolizing those carbohydrates properly. So you're going to get predisposed to diabetes and obesity, heart disease, and all sorts of things. So as we get older, Decreasing our carbohydrates is probably one of the most important thing one can do for, for our health. You also recommend short bouts of intense movement. How does this work? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's that hormetic effect on the body. So okay. that acute little bit of stress triggers this autophagy process. So too much exercise is, a, is, a, is, is too much stress on the body. But these short bursts are going to trigger um, uh, your body to, to recycle old cells. All right. And you also say the power of sleep. So important, right? Sure. We have a, a system in our brain called the glymphatic system, which is a, the system which clears. It's basically, in a way, an autophagy system in our brain. It clears the proteins and the chemicals that are made during the day, and they get cleared out at night. And it only works when we're sleeping. So if you're not sleeping, all, the, all those proteins and chemicals build up during the night and the next day they're still there if you don't sleep. So sleep is really crucial for our health. 